This is the first video in PowerPoint Module 2 in the Microsoft Office 365 textbook by Shelley and Cashman. So we're on page 2-3. And the first thing we want to do after opening PowerPoint is we want to look for more themes. So if you just double click on PowerPoint to open it, this is what you will get. Most of the time you'll probably choose a blank presentation up here, but there are a bunch of themes. A theme is just a collection of colors and fonts and the way that things are positioned on the slide. Um, and some of them have some pictures in them like this one does. And there's a bunch of them out there that you can use as a starting point. Let's click on more themes over here on the right. What you get here may be different from what I get. What we're going to look for though is the word electric. Go ahead and type that in the search box. Go ahead and hit enter. Well, that doesn't give me anything, so we're going to try another search. Let's go up here and replace the word electric. The one he has is called Business Digital. Let's take a look and see if we can find that one out there. And there it is. So we want to click that. Click on Create. And now it gives us a title slide. It gives us a bunch of other slides. So we've got slides with some predefined content on them. Obviously, you're going to have to change the content. But if you want to do a chart, for example, you can just click on this one. You've already got a start. You've already got a chart to use as a starting point. Same thing here if you want a table, you want smart art. So um, you can use these slides as starting points. So now let's go to the top of page 2-5. We want to go to our File tab. Choose Save As. Browse to where you want to save it. I'm putting everything on my desktop. And the name for this is going to be SC underscore PPT underscore two underscore energy. Go ahead and hit enter or click on save. Now we're at the bottom part of page 2-5. We're going to click slide three in our thumbnails over here, the one with the chart on it. Go ahead and select that by clicking on it. We can also select slide number four, hold the control key down and select slide four. Both of them will get the orange outline around them. So, you know, you've got two of them selected. Go ahead and right click. One of the options on here should be delete slide. Click on delete slide. It'll delete both of those two slides. You can also just hit the delete key as well. Now we're going to select slide number four. We're going to scroll down a ways to slide number nine and we're going to hold the shift key down. We're doing an adjacent selection. Hold the shift key down, click on slide nine. And when you use the shift key, when you're selecting items from a list, it will select everything between the original click and the second click. So I'm going to select all those slides. Let's go to the top of page 2-6. He's going to use the right click and the shortcut menu. I'm just going to hit the delete key and they are gone. Now our slideshow only has three slides in it and your slideshow should look like this. Now we're on page 2-7, creating a title slide. So we want to display slide number one. So here's slide number one. Go ahead and click on it. We're going to change the title here. After you've typed that in, we want to change the font size to 80 points. Now there's two ways to do that. I've got a dotted line around the outside of the title here. If I've got a dotted line, I can select any part of the text that I want. And if I want to change all the text, I'm going to have to select all of it at once by dragging the mouse over it. But an alternative is just to click on the border here once when you get the solid line around the border. Any formatting changes that you make are going to apply to everything that's in the box. So we're going to go up here to our font formatting. We're going to go down and we're going to choose 80. If 80 was not available on the list, you can just type it in on top of the 66 up here at the top. Now we're on number three on page 2-7. We're going to click on the subtitle. Subtitle is going to be Save Money and Increase Comfort. Now if you type that in, you want to select the whole thing. We want to make it 28 points. We want to make it bold. We want to change the font color to green. So three things. So select the whole thing by clicking on the edge there. You can also drag the mouse over the text. And change the size to 28. We're going to make it bold. You can also do a control B for bold. We're going to change the color to green. So go to your font color here. And green is the sixth one over under the standard colors. And now we're ready to flip over to page 2-8. Place the insertion point anywhere in the slide one title text. So click up here. And now we're going to right align that. So let's go up to our paragraph group up here. We're on the home tab. Go to the paragraph group. And the right align button is right here. So go ahead and click on that. It will slide everything over to the right. And now your slide should look like the one on the bottom of page 2-8. 
We want to do the same thing with subtitles, so click any place here in the subtitle and click on the Align Right button. And now both of those are aligned on the right edge of their containers. Let's go to the top of page 2-9. We're going to go to slide number 2. Click on slide 2. We're going to change the title here. Our title of this slide is going to be Energy Efficient Products. And we're going to modify the bulleted list that appears below. So I'm just going to delete everything that's here because we're basically starting from scratch anyway. And we are doing a bulleted list. So the first item is going to be Energy Star, capital letters, Okay, when you've typed everything in, we need to go back and we need to indent some of these. So every other line here is going to be indented. There's two ways to do it. You can go up here and click on the increase list level option, or you can just click on it and do what I'm going to do now and hit the tab key. It will indent it. It'll make the font a little bit smaller. It also makes the bullet just a little bit smaller. Same thing down here for the fourth line and the same thing down here for the sixth line. So now we're going to go to the top of page 2-10. We're going to insert a symbol. We're going to go to the right of the word star here. We're going to insert the symbol R with a circle around it, the registered symbol. And there's an easy way to do that. There's a keyboard shortcut. If you just type a left parenthesis and R and a right parenthesis, it'll put that in for you. You can also go to your insert tab up here and you can go to symbols. And you can look for the symbol out there. And it happens to be on my recently used symbol list. Otherwise, you have to know where it is. And he knows that it's in the symbols font. So click on symbol. And then every one of these characters has a number. The first one is normally number 32. So if we scroll down a ways, we can find that here. If we click on it, the number appears over here. So every one of these codes has a unique number. So if you find it here, if you know where to look for it, you can find it here and click on it. These three symbols here are so common that Office has some built-in shortcuts for them. If you do a left parenthesis, an R, and a right parenthesis, you'll get this symbol. If you do a left parenthesis, a C, and a right parenthesis, you'll get this symbol. If you do a left parenthesis, a TM, and a right parenthesis, you'll get this symbol. Okay, so we don't need to actually go there and insert it. We've already inserted it because we did it the short way. So I'll go ahead and click on Cancel. Now we're going to copy that symbol. And this is just an ordinary copy and paste. So just drag the mouse over it. Do a Control-C to select it or copy it to the clipboard. And we're going to go down here after the word water sense, which is also apparently a registered symbol. And we do a paste, control V to paste it in. Okay, it looks like I might have gotten an extra space in there. So I'm going to go back and hit backspace. There we go. Now we can go to page 2-12. We're going to add a hyperlink to a paragraph. So uh, we want to be on slide number two. We want to be on the insert tab. And we want to select the text energy efficient products. So let's go to the insert tab, slide number two. And we want to select energy efficient products. Drag your mouse over that. Where we're going to insert is a hyperlink. So click on the links button up here. We'll get the insert hyperlink dialog box. And what we want to do is select existing file or web page. Then go to the top of page 2-13. And for the address, type in www.energy.gov. And it's smart enough to put the HTTP colon slash slash in front of it for you. After you've done that, go ahead and click on OK. And this is now a hyperlink. And the hyperlinks in this particular theme happen to be colored kind of a gold color. Now at the bottom of page 2-13, we're going to start creating and formatting a smart art graphic. Let's go over to page 2-14. We still want to be on slide number two. This time we want to go to the Home tab, select our six bulleted items, and we want to convert that into SmartArt. There's an option here called Convert into SmartArt. Click on the down arrow. Click on More. So we can see all of them with this first option selected, but we can narrow it down quite a bit if we pick one of the subcategories here. We're going to click on the List subcategory. We want the second one in the second row. That's called a vertical list box. If you pause the mouse over it, vertical list box should appear. Go ahead and click on it. Click on OK. It just turned our bulleted list into this particular type of smart art. So now we're at the bottom of page 2-15, and we're going to edit a smart art shape, but it's not going to be this one. It's going to be the one on slide number three. So go over here and click on slide number three, where it says step one title. Select that. Type appliances. Where it says Step 2 Title, drag the mouse over that, type Windows. 
and where it says step three title select that and type lighting now there's another way actually i think an easier way to edit this stuff over here there is a button here basically it creates a bulleted list that corresponds to our smart art this is true with uh, every smart art that they have so we want to make some changes here we want to select task description number one and we want to type in unplug when not in use hit the down arrow to go to the second bullet item and uh, let's delete it make sure you don't go too far and delete the next line text here should be asked about rebates and as we make the changes in our first bulleted item labeled appliances these are the subordinate items to appliances and the text when it gets changed over here in this box gets changed over here as well so let's go to the top of page 2-18 now and we're going to make some more changes here we're going to change the first item under windows that's going to be called seal leaks second item drag the mouse over the second item and we're going to type in close curtains at night in winter Go down to lighting. First item should be by LEDs. Hit the down arrow. Delete what's on the next line. Type in use indoors and outdoors. So this is called the text pane. If you don't want it here anymore, you're all done typing your stuff in. You might want to do some formatting over here. You can make it go away by clicking on the arrow that points to the right. If you want to bring it back again, just click on the little arrow here that points to the left. Let's go to the bottom of page 2-18, where we're going to format some of the characters in our smart art. Before we do that, let's close our text pane. Let's close this. Let's go to our Home tab. And way over here on the right, we've got a Select button. Click on the Select button. Click Select All. It'll select every one of the shapes in our smart art graphic. We want to make that bold you can either type a control b or click on the bold button up here on the home ribbon click the text shadow button this is going to be in the font group so that gives it kind of a 3d effect click any place on the slide to deselect and your slideshow should now look something like this we're at the bottom of page 2-19 we're going to change the smart art layout so we're still on slide number three you got to make sure that you select this first when you do there's a smart art design tab up here go ahead and click on that to select it got our smart art design ribbon visible now click the more button in the layouts group so these are our layouts click the more button that's always the one with an arrow with a little hyphen above it so I'll select more layouts here we want to narrow this down just to the list items and we want to click on the one called target list pause the mouse over this one with the rounded left side here and it should say target list go ahead and click on that click on OK that same text we've got the same organization of the text but we completely changed the look of it by giving it a different smart art format let's go to the top of page 2-21 we want to edit the title text so we're going to select the title text here which is a placeholder and we're going to type in tips to save energy so we're on page 2-21 we're on the middle of the page there to duplicate a slide we're going to insert a new slide with the title and content layout so go up here click on new slide choose title and content and slide number four looks like this item number two at the bottom of page 2-21 has us duplicating the slide that's already there you can go up here and go to new slide and you can say duplicate selected slides this one is already selected so we'll duplicate that brand new slides now we've got two empty slides there i'm not sure we saved any time we also could have just done a control c on slide number four and then done a control v to paste it in down below now let's turn over to page 2-22 we're going to insert another smart art graphic let's go to slide four we've got some placeholders here one of them is labeled insert a smart art graphic it's the third one in the first row go ahead and click on that over here choose the category called process we want the upward arrow process you may have to scroll to find that you'll recognize it when you see it there it is right there go ahead and select that click on ok now let's go to the top of page 2-23 we're going to add some text to that and I'm not going to do it directly on the smart art here. I'm going to go over here and do it on the text box over here on the left side. We've got three bullet items there. Hourly pricing, peak time savings, and central AC cycling. So we're just going to type those in. Hit the down arrow to go down to the second bullet item and type in peak time savings. Hit the down arrow again and type in central AC cycling. Okay, go ahead and close the text pane over there. Click someplace off to the side here to deselect the text. Now we're going to apply a style to that. Let's go to the top of page 2-24. 
with the smart art graphics still selected now it's not selected i need to click on it again to get the handles around it we have a bunch of smart art styles up here one of those is called powder let's click on the down arrow here and it says it should be the fourth one in the 3d row let's pause the mouse there the word powder appears that's the one that we want go ahead and click on that to select it and we'll stop this video right there we'll pick up with our next video on page 2-25